Tiffany here with Years of Years, and it's this day in Disney for July 2nd. And to start off, we are going to 1935. On this day, John Mitchell Lounsbury was hired by Disney, uh, Walt Disney, as an assistant animator on the Snow White and Seven Dwarfs um, film. He started, or actually his starting salary was $12 a week. Imagine that. <laughs> he worked on a numer numerous short features, including Society Dog Show, The Practical Pig, Mickey's Surprise Party, Donald Duck's Laundry, Pluto at the Zoo, Chicken Little. Then he moved forward on directing and animating um, feature films like Fun and Fancy Free, Melody Time, So Dear to My Heart, Cinderella, Peter Pan, much, much more. There's a huge list of the shorts and films that he worked on, but most importantly, he was actually moved to be a director in 1974. His first film to direct was Winnie the Pooh and Tigger 2, and uh, he was an animator director for the many adventures of Winnie the Pooh. Um, so, unfortunately, at the time of his death, he was working on the rescuers and still directing and um, there was still being worked on and this was around 1976 and he passed away so he didn't completely complete that film um, he co-directed it so sadly he was uh, one of the first of Disney's nine old men to pass away uh, but Don Bluth said of him John was not a pretentious man but very much a teacher, very kind, very sharing with all his information. And so what I was just learning about him and learning about his character, others commented on his very kind and gentle nature and thinking that the first movie he directed was Winnie the Pooh and how much we love those films and, and how kind and gentle they really are. That really comes across. Uh, so it makes sense that he was the type of person that directed them. So, very interesting. He was one of Disney's nine old men, very important to Disney history. So, um, that, you know, he started working on this day at $12 an hour. Can you imagine? But it was a different time. And then next up on this day in 2016, fast forward, a Coca-Cola store, Orlando, officially opened at Disney Springs. So this is the giant Coca-Cola building over at Disney Springs near the Orange Garage that it's actually the building is modeled after a 1920s mo uh, bottling plant. And the ground floor has merchandise. There's actually merchandise in there, apparel and handmade items they use from recycled materials. So that's kind of fun to check out. And there's the big uh, Coca-Cola bear that you can go meet him and get uh, photos as well. But my favorite floor is the top floor, <laughs> which we actually have a video all about that. Uh, some we went with some friends of ours and got to experience all the flavors that they have up there and so you should go check out that video it'll be linked in the description it's it was a fun night at Disney Springs and that was way before that was back in I think it was February <laughs> February or March so um, yeah it was a lot of fun and we got to try all all the different drinks in that video and they do have Beverly over there. So we didn't really realize this experience was being offered at the time and we were pretty sad about uh, Club Cool being closed down over at Epcot. So at least we can still go experience some of our favorite flavors over at the Coca-Cola building. It's a really, really fun shop to go check out. So go check it out. It opened on this day in 2000, 2016. Um, so if you get a chance, I would definitely encourage you to go uh, walk up all the, the, it's not stairs, it's actually slants that you go all the way around and get to look outside. And the rooftop, where the drinks are is it's completely open so you can hear any music or things going on at Disney Springs so that adds a really fun element to it as well. So that's it for this day in Disney. I hope you
you have a great day.